Look at him. He expects perfection on every possession. We're still in November, so he's yelling for January, February, and March. That's a big sweaty bear hunt. Coach Izzo just got. He's loving it. Look at Izzo's reaction. I think he's excited. Here with the Big Ten Coach of the Decade, Tom Izzo, kind enough to join us. Uh, Coach, congratulations. What does it mean, particularly given some of the very good coaches in the Big Ten? I mean, you had John Beeline, who had a really good decade, Bo Ryan as well, that you were the person who ultimately this panel named. Well, first of all, I appreciate it. I mean, uh, and I think you're right. I think right now the Big Ten, and you look at the last 10 years for sure, and maybe even dating back, I mean, the number of coaches, you know, when you had guys that are gone now, like Tubby Smith and Tom Crane, and there, there were some guys that made it the Final Fours, won national championships. But I think the collection we got, David, is uh, about as good as we've ever had. And I think our league, as it showed last year when we might have got 10, maybe even 11 teams in, uh, just shows you how tough the Big Ten is in basketball. So, uh you know, football used to be the, you know, the big two and the little eight. And uh, right now, I think we're the, the big 12 and maybe a couple that are in second place. It seems like we got a lot of good teams. So what does it mean to you then, given how good the league is, that you were the person ultimately who was chosen? Well, I, I'm greatly humbled and appreciative because I know what, uh, how many good coaches, you know, and there hasn't been many of them that have been here as long as I have. Definitely the 10 years. Uh, Matt Painter has done an unbelievable job there. But, uh, you know, Franny over at uh, Iowa has been there, you know, quite a few years now. And so there's probably others. But uh, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I had a lot of good players. And uh, I always tell the players, you know, you help me, I help you. Well, I think I helped some of them. I think a lot of them helped me. And that's why I got this uh, great award. It's interesting in looking back on this decade, Coach, it's one that began with you pondering, making the jump to the NBA and the Cleveland Cavaliers. How close were you to leaving at that point? It was a lot, a lot, a lot of money, you know? And so uh, let's not, uh, let's get rid of the white elephant in the room. I mean, those things are factors. I know even you might, you know, look at jobs that pay a lot, a lot, a lot of more money. But, um, and then the thrill of, you know, maybe being in the NBA. but. Thank God, you know, that uh, I had a lot of good people that have helped me make a decision. And then, uh, you know, after that, I think we've gone to three or four more Final Four. So maybe, maybe it was the right decision. And yet I have great appreciation for the guys at that level and great appreciation for the guys at the college level. Well, you mentioned three Final Fours in the decade, four Big Ten regular season titles, so many good teams. Eight of the ten teams won at least 27 games, which is really a – a staggering number. Is there one team? I know this is like asking you to pick your favorite child, but is there one team that stands out the most in that decade to you? Well, I mean, last year's Michigan State team, uh, you know, was special because of all the adversity we went through. And yet I think it was the Danzel Valentine team, that team getting to a Final Four at times. I don't know if anybody thought we could. And but as you say, boy, you're just splitting hairs because there were so many great times and I could have named probably six teams. So uh, I guess that's the one I'll pick that was maybe the biggest surprise. But I do want to thank all the coaches and all the people that, that you know, were involved in, in this. And I definitely want to thank my players. But uh, hats off to BTN and all you guys have done. Let's keep up the good work. Let's get back playing. Let's get on that field, on that court as soon as it's safe to do that. Sounds great. Thanks again, Coach. Thanks, Dave.